Mathematical induction is a mathematical proof technique. It is essentially used to prove that a property p n holds for every natural number n, i.e. for n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Metaphors can be informally used to understand the concept of mathematical induction, such as the metaphor of falling dominoes or climbing a ladder. Mathematical induction proves that we can climb as high as we like on a ladder, by proving that we can climb onto the bottom rung the basis and that from each rung we can climb up to the next one the, step. the method of induction requires two cases to be proved. The first case, called the base case or, sometimes, the basis, proves that the property holds for the number zero. The second case, called the induction step, proves that, if the property holds for one natural number n, then it holds for the next natural number n plus 1. These two steps establish the property p n for every natural number n equals 0, 1, 2, 3. The base step need not begin with 0. Often it begins with the number 1, and it can begin with any natural number, establishing the truth of the property for all natural numbers greater than or equal to the starting number. The method can be extended to prove statements about more general well-founded structures, such as trees. This generalization, known as structural induction, is used in mathematical logic and computer science. Mathematical induction in this extended sense is closely related to recursion. Mathematical induction, in some form, is the foundation of all correctness proofs for computer programs, although its name may suggest otherwise. Mathematical induction should not be misconstrued as a form of inductive reasoning as used in philosophy, also see problem of induction. Mathematical induction is an inference rule used in formal proofs. Proofs by mathematical induction are, in fact, examples of deductive reasoning. History In 370 BC, Plato's Parmenides may have contained an early example of an implicit inductive proof. The earliest implicit traces of mathematical induction may be found in Euclid's proof that the number of primes is infinite and in Bhaskara's cyclic method. An opposite iterated technique, counting down rather than up, is found in the Sorites paradox, where it was argued that if one million grains of sand formed a heap, and removing one grain from a heap left it a heap, then a single grain of sand or even no grains forms a heap. An implicit proof by mathematical induction for arithmetic sequences was introduced in the al fakhri written by Al-Khuraji around 1000 AD, who used it to prove the binomial theorem and properties of Pascal's triangle. None of these ancient mathematicians, however, explicitly stated the induction hypothesis. Another similar case contrary to what Vacca has written, as Freudenthal carefully showed was that of Francesco Moralico in his Arithmeticorum Libri Duo 1575, who used the technique to prove that the sum of the first n odd integers is n2. The first explicit formulation of the principle of induction was given by Pascal in his Traité du Triangle Arithmétique Another Frenchman, Fermat, made ample use of a related principle, indirect proof by infinite descent. The induction hypothesis was also employed by the Swiss Jakob Bernoulli, and from then on it became more or less well known. 
The modern rigorous and systematic treatment of the principle came only in the 19th century, with George Boole, Augustus de Morgan, Charles Sanders Peirce, Giuseppe Pino, and Richard Dedekind. Description The simplest and most common form of mathematical induction infers that a statement involving a natural number n holds for all values of n. The proof consists of two steps. The base case, prove that the statement holds for the first natural number n0. Usually, n0. Zero or n zero. One, rarely, but sometimes conveniently, the base value of n zero may be taken as a larger number, or even as a negative number. The statement only holds at and above that threshold because these extensions do not disturb the property of being a well-ordered set. The step case or inductive step prove that if the statement holds for any n n0, it holds for n plus 1. In other words, assume the statement holds for some arbitrary natural number n n0, and prove that then the statement holds for n plus 1. The hypothesis in the inductive step, that the statement holds for some n, is called the induction hypothesis or inductive hypothesis. To prove the inductive step, one assumes the induction hypothesis and then uses this assumption, involving n, to prove the statement for n plus 1. Whether n 0 or n One is taken as the standard base case depends on the preferred definition of the natural numbers. In the fields of combinatorics and mathematical logic it is common to consider zero as a natural number. Example <laughs> <laughs> Mathematical induction can be used to prove that the following statement, p n, holds for all natural numbers n 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus plus n equals n n plus 1 2 display style 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus c d o t s plus n equals f r a c n n plus 1 2 p n gives a formula for the sum of the natural numbers less than or equal to number n the proof that p n is true for each natural number n proceeds as follows. Base case, show that the statement holds for n equals 0 taking 0 as a natural. p 0 is easily seen to be true. 0 equals 0 0 plus 1 2 display style 0 equals frac 0 c d o t 0 plus 1 2 inductive step show that if p k holds then also p k plus 1 holds this can be done as follows Assume p k holds for some unspecified value of k. It must then be shown that p k plus one holds. That is, zero plus one plus two 
plus plus k plus k plus 1 equals k plus 1 k plus 1 plus 1 2 Display style zero plus one plus two plus C D O T S plus K plus K plus one equals F R A C K plus one K plus one plus one two Using the induction hypothesis that P K holds, the left hand side can be rewritten to K K plus 1 2 plus k plus 1 display style frac k k plus 1 2 plus k plus 1 Algebraically, k k plus one two plus k plus one equals k k plus one plus two k plus one two equals k plus one k plus two two equals k plus one k plus one plus one two display style begin aligned frac k k plus one two plus k plus one and equals frac C K K plus one plus two K plus one two and equals FRAC K plus one K plus two two and equals FRAC K plus one K plus one plus one two end aligned thereby showing that indeed P K plus one holds since both the base case and the inductive step have been performed, by mathematical induction the statement P n holds for all natural numbers n. Qed Variants <inaudible> 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 In practice, proofs by induction are often structured differently, depending on the exact nature of the property to be proven. <inaudible> induction basis other than 0 or 1 If one wishes to prove a statement not for all natural numbers but only for all numbers n greater than or equal to a certain number b, then the proof by induction consists of showing that the statement holds when n equals b. Showing that if the statement holds for some n b then the same statement also holds for n plus 1, this can be used, for example, to show that 2 n n plus 5 for n 3. In this way, one can prove that some statement p n holds for all n 1, or even n minus 5. This form of mathematical induction is actually a special case of the previous form, because if the statement to be proved is p n, then proving it with these two rules is equivalent with proving p n plus b for all natural numbers n with an induction base case 0. Example, forming dollar amounts by coins Assume an infinite supply of 4 and 5 dollar coins. Induction can be used to prove that any whole amount of dollars greater than 12 can be formed by a combination of such coins. The amount n display style n is chosen to begin on 12 display style 12 
as the statement does not hold true for every lower number, in particular, it is violated for n equals 11 displaystyle n equals 11 in more precise terms we wish to show that for any amount n 12 displaystyle n geq 12 there exist natural numbers a b display style a b such that n equals 4 a plus 5 b display style n equals 4 a plus 5 b where 0 is included as a natural number the statement to be shown is thus s n n 12 a b element of n n equals 4 a plus 5 B display style s n n g e q twelve right arrow exists a b in math b n n equals four a plus five b base case showing that s k display style s k holds for k equals 12 display style k equals 12 is trivial let a equals 3 display style a equals 3 and b equals 0 display style b equals 0 then 4 3 plus 5 0 equals 12 display style 4 c d o t 3 plus 5 c d o t 0 equals 12 step case given that S K display style S K holds for some value of K twelve display style K G E Q twelve induction hypothesis prove that S K plus one Display style s k plus one holds two. That is given that k equals four a plus five b. Display style k equals four a plus five b. For some natural numbers. A B display style A B prove that there exist natural numbers a 1 B 1 display style a underscore 1 B underscore 1 such that K plus 1 equals 4 a 1 plus 5 b 1 
Display style k plus one equals four a underscore one plus five b underscore one. Here we need to consider two cases. For the first case, assume that a one display style a g e q one. By some algebraic manipulation and by assumption, we see that in that case k equals 4 a plus 5 b k plus 1 equals 4 a plus 5 b plus 1 equals 4 a plus 5 b minus 4 plus 5 equals 4 a minus 1 plus 5 b plus 1 equals 4 a 1 plus 5 b 1 Display style begin aligned k and equals four a plus five b k plus one and equals four a plus five b plus one and equals four a plus five b four plus five and equals four a one plus five b plus one and equals four a underscore one plus five b underscore one end aligned where a one equals a minus one one display style a underscore one equals a one and b one equals b plus one display style b underscore one equals b plus one air natural numbers. This shows that to add one display style one to the total amount, any amount whatsoever, so long as it is greater than twelve display style twelve, it is sufficient to remove a single four dollar coin while adding a five dollar coin. However, this construction fails in the case that a equals zero display style a equals zero, or in words, when there is number four dollar coin. So it remains to prove the case a equals zero. Display style a equals zero. Then k equals five b twelve. Display style k equals five b g e q twelve, which implies that b three. Display style b g e q three. K equals five b. K plus one equals five B plus one equals five B minus fifteen plus sixteen equals Five B minus three plus four four equals four four plus five B minus three equals Four a one plus five B one 
Display style begin aligned k and equals five b k plus one and equals five b plus one and equals five b minus fifteen plus sixteen and equals five b three plus four c d o t four and equals four c d o t four plus five b three and equals four a underscore one plus five b underscore one End aligned where a one equals four display style a underscore one equals four and b one equals b minus three display style b underscore one equals b three are again natural numbers. The above calculation shows that in the case there are number four dollar coins, we can add one display style one to the amount by removing three five dollar coins while adding four four dollar coins. Thus, with the inductive step, we have shown that S K display style S K implies S K plus one display style S K plus one for all natural numbers k twelve display style k G E Q twelve, and the proof is complete. Q E D. Topic. Induction on more than one counter It is sometimes desirable to prove a statement involving two natural numbers, n and m, by iterating the induction process. That is, one proves a base case and an inductive step for n, and in each of those proves a base case and an inductive step for m. See, for example, the proof of commutativity accompanying addition of natural numbers. More complicated arguments involving three or more counters are also possible. <laughs> Infinite descent The method of infinite descent is a variation of mathematical induction which was used by Pierre de Fermat. It is used to show that some statement q n is false for all natural numbers n. Its traditional form consists of showing that if q n is true for some natural number n, it also holds for some strictly smaller natural number m. Because there are no infinite decreasing sequences of natural numbers, this situation would be impossible, showing by contradiction that q n cannot be true for any n. The validity of this method can be verified from the usual principle of mathematical induction. Using mathematical induction on the statement p n defined as Q m is false for all natural numbers m less than or equal to n. It follows that p n holds for all n, which means that q n is false for every natural number n. Topic: <laughs> Prefix induction. The most common form of proof by mathematical induction requires proving in the inductive step that k p k p k plus 1 Display style for all k p k to p k plus 1 Whereupon the induction principle automates n applications of this step in getting from p zero to p n. This could be called predecessor induction because each step proves something about a number from something about that number's predecessor. A variant of interest in computational complexity is prefix induction in which one needs to prove k p k p 2 k p 
2 k plus 1 display style for all k p k to p 2k land p 2k plus 1 or equivalently k p k 2 p k Display style for all k left p left left l floor frac k two right r floor right to p k right. The induction principle then automates log n applications of this inference in getting from p zero to p n. It is called prefix induction because each step proves something about a number from something about the «prefix» of that number formed by truncating the low bit of its binary representation. It can be viewed as an application of traditional induction on the length of that binary representation. If traditional predecessor induction is interpreted computationally as an n-step loop, prefix induction corresponds to a log n-step loop, and thus proofs using prefix induction are more feasibly constructive than proofs using predecessor induction. Predecessor induction can trivially simulate prefix induction on the same statement. Prefix induction can simulate predecessor induction, but only at the cost of making the statement more syntactically complex adding a bounded universal quantifier, so the interesting results relating prefix induction to polynomial time computation depend on excluding unbounded quantifiers entirely, and limiting the alternation of bounded universal and existential quantifiers allowed in the statement, one can take the idea a step further, one must prove k p k p k display style for all k left p left left l floor sqrt k right r floor right to p k right whereupon the induction principle automates log log n applications of this inference in getting from p 0 to p n this form of induction has been used analogously to study log time parallel computation topic complete strong induction another variant called complete induction course of values induction or strong induction in contrast to which the basic form of induction is sometimes known as weak induction makes the inductive step easier to prove by using a stronger hypothesis one proves the statement p m plus 1 under the assumption that p n holds for all natural n less than m plus 1 by contrast the basic form only assumes p m the name strong induction does not mean that this method can prove more than weak induction but merely refers to the stronger hypothesis used in the inductive step in fact the two methods are equivalent as explained below in this form of complete induction one still has to prove the base case p0 and it may even be necessary to prove extra base cases such as p1 before the general argument applies as in the example below of the fibonacci number fn Although the form just described requires one to prove the base case, this is unnecessary if one can prove p m assuming p n for all lower n for all m zero. This is a special case of transfinite induction as described below. 
In this form the base case is subsumed by the case m equals 0, where p is proved with no other p assumed. This case may need to be handled separately, but sometimes the same argument applies for m equals 0 and m greater than 0, making the proof simpler and more elegant. In this method it is, however, vital to ensure that the proof of P M does not implicitly assume that M greater than zero, e.g. by saying choose an arbitrary N or assuming that a set of M elements has an element. Complete induction is equivalent to ordinary mathematical induction as described above, in the sense that a proof by one method can be transformed into a proof by the other. Suppose there is a proof of P n by complete induction. Let Q n mean P m holds for all m such that 0 m n. Then Q n holds for all n if and only if P n holds for all n, and our proof of P n is easily transformed into a proof of Q n by ordinary induction. If, on the other hand, P n had been proven by ordinary induction, the proof would already effectively be won by complete induction. P zero is proved in the base case using no assumptions, and P n plus one is proved in the inductive step, in which one may assume all earlier cases but need only use the case P n. Example, Fibonacci numbers Complete induction is most useful when several instances of the inductive hypothesis are required for each inductive step. For example, complete induction can be used to show that f n equals phi n minus psi n phi minus psi display style f underscore n equals frac var phi caret n psi caret n var phi psi where f n is the nth Fibonacci number phi Topic one plus square root five two the golden ratio and psi one minus square root five two are the roots of the polynomial x two minus x minus one. By using the fact that f n plus two equals fn plus 1 plus fn for each n element of n, the identity above can be verified by direct calculation for fn plus 2 if one assumes that it already holds for both fn plus 1 and fn. To complete the proof, the identity must be verified in the two base cases n equals 0 and n equals 1 equals Topic Example Prime factorization Topic Another proof by complete induction uses the hypothesis that the statement holds for all smaller n more thoroughly. Consider the statement that Every natural number greater than 1 is a product of one or more prime numbers, which is the existence part of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. For proving the inductive step, the induction hypothesis is that for a given n greater than 1, the statement holds for all smaller n greater than 1. If m is prime then it is certainly a product of primes, and if not, then by definition it is a product, m 
N1 N2, where neither of the factors is equal to 1, hence neither is equal to M, and so both are smaller than M. The induction hypothesis now applies to N1 and N2, so each one is a product of primes. Thus M is a product of products of primes, therefore itself a product of primes. Topic: <laughs> Example, dollar amounts revisited. We shall look to prove the same example as above, this time with a variant called strong induction. The statement remains the same. S N N 12 A B element of N N equals 4 a plus 5 B Display style S N N G E Q twelve implies exists A B in Math B N N equals four A plus five B. However, there will be slight differences with the structure and assumptions of the proof. Let us begin with the base case. Base case show that S K Display style s k holds for k equals twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Display style k equals twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 4 3 plus 5 0 equals 12 4 2 plus 5 1 equals 13 4 1 plus 5 2 equals 14 4 0 plus 5 3 equals 15 display style begin aligned 4 c d o t 3 plus 5 c d o t 0 equals 12 4 c d o t 2 plus 5 c d o T1 equals 13 4 C D O T 1 plus 5 C D O T 2 equals 14 4 C D O T 0 plus 5 C D O T 3 equals 15 end aligned the base case holds Induction hypothesis given some j greater than 15 display style j greater than 15 such that s m display style s m holds for all m display style m with 12 m j display style 12 l e q m inductive step prove that s j display style s j holds Choosing m equals j minus four, display style m equals j four, and observing that fifteen j twelve j minus four j, display style fifteen shows that s j minus four, display style s j four holds by inductive hypothesis. That is, the sum j minus four display style j four can be formed by some combination of four display style four and five display style five dollar coins. Then, simply adding a four display style four dollar coin to that combination yields the sum j display style j. That is, s j display style s j holds. QED Topic Forward Backward Induction Sometimes it is more convenient to deduct backwards proving the statement for n minus 1 display style n1 given its validity for n display style n however 
Proving the validity of the statement for no single number suffices to establish the base case, instead, one needs to prove the statement for an infinite subset of the natural numbers. For example, Augustin Louis Cauchy first used forward regular induction to prove the inequality of arithmetic and geometric means for all powers of two, and then used backward induction to show it for all natural numbers. <laughs> Example of error in the inductive step The inductive step must be proved for all values of n. To illustrate this, Joel E. Cohen proposed the following argument, which purports to prove by mathematical induction that all horses are of the same color. Base case, in a set of only one horse, there is only one color. Inductive step, assume as induction hypothesis that within any set of n horses, there is only one color. Now look at any set of n plus 1 horses. Number them, 1, 2, 3, n, n plus 1. Consider the sets 1, 2, 3, n, and 2, 3, 4, n plus 1, each is a set of only n horses, therefore within each there is only one color. But the two sets overlap, so there must be only one color among all n plus 1 horses. The base case n equals 1 is trivial as any horse is the same color as itself, and the inductive step is correct in all cases n greater than 1. However, the logic of the inductive step is incorrect for n equals 1, because the statement that the two sets overlap is false there are only n plus 1 equals 2 horses prior to either removal and after removal the sets of one horse each do not overlap equals <laughs> topic formalization equals in second order logic we can write down the axiom of induction as follows p p 0 k p k p k plus 1 n p n Display style display style for all p b i g l p zero land for all k b i g l p k right arrow p k plus one big R right arrow for all n b i g l p n big R big R where p is a variable for predicates involving one natural number and k and n are variables for natural numbers. In words, the base case p zero and the inductive step, namely that the induction hypothesis p k implies p k plus one, together imply that p n for any natural number n. The axiom of induction asserts that the validity of inferring that p n holds for any natural number n from the base case and the inductive step. Note that the first quantifier in the axiom ranges over predicates rather than over individual numbers. This is a second-order quantifier, which means that this axiom is stated in second-order logic. Axiomatizing arithmetic induction in first-order logic requires an axiom schema containing a separate axiom for each possible predicate. The article Pino axioms contains further discussion of this issue. 
The axiom of structural induction for the natural numbers was first formulated by Pino, who used it to specify the natural numbers together with four other axioms saying that 1 o is a natural number, 2 the successor function s of every natural number yields a natural number s x equals x plus 1, 3 the successor function is injective, and 4 o is not in the range of s. In first order ZFC set theory, quantification over predicates is not allowed, but we can still phrase induction by quantification over sets. A zero element of a k element of n k element of a k plus one element of a n O display style for all a b i g l zero in a land for all k in math b n b i g l k in a right arrow k plus one in a big R right arrow math b n subset a big R O display style a may be read as a set representing a proposition, and containing natural numbers, for which the proposition holds. This is not an axiom, but a theorem, given that natural numbers are defined in the language of ZFC set theory by axioms, analogous to Pino's. Topic transfinite induction The principle of complete induction is not only valid for statements about natural numbers, but for statements about elements of any well-founded set, that is, a set with an irreflexive relation applied to a well-founded set, it can be formulated as a single step, show that if some statement holds for all M proofs by transfinite induction typically distinguish three cases when n is a minimal element, i.e. there is no element smaller than n, when n has a direct predecessor, i.e. the set of elements which are smaller than n has a largest element, when n has no direct predecessor, i.e. n is a so-called limit ordinal. Strictly speaking, it is not necessary in transfinite induction to prove a base case, because it is a vacuous special case of the proposition that if p is true of all n. <laughs> Equivalence with the well-ordering principle The principle of mathematical induction is usually stated as an axiom of the natural numbers, see Pino axioms. However, it can be proved from the well-ordering principle. Indeed, suppose the following The set of natural numbers is well ordered. Every natural number is either 0, or n plus 1 for some natural number n. For any natural number n, n plus 1 is greater than n. To derive simple induction from these axioms, one must show that if p n is some proposition predicated of n for which P zero holds and whenever P M is true, then P M plus one is also true. Then P N holds for all n. Proof: Let S be the set of all natural numbers for which P M is false. Let us see what happens if one asserts that S is non-empty. Well ordering tells us that S has a least element, say n. Moreover, since P is true, n is not zero. Since every natural number is either zero or some m plus one, there is some natural number m such that m plus one equals n. 
Now m is less than n, and n is the least element of S it follows that m is not in S, and so p m is true. This means that p m plus 1 is true, in other words, p n is true. This is a contradiction, since n was in S therefore, S is empty. It can also be proved that induction, given the other axioms, implies the well-ordering principle. Proof. Suppose there exists a non-empty set, S, of naturals that has no least element. Let P n be the assertion that n is not in S then P is true, for if it were false then 0 is the least element of S. Furthermore, suppose P 1, P 2, P n are all true. Then if P n plus 1 is false n plus 1 is in S, thus being a minimal element in S, a contradiction. Thus p n plus 1 is true. Therefore, by the induction axiom, p n holds for all n, so s is empty, a contradiction. See also Combinatorial proof Recursion Recursion, computer science, structural induction, proof by exhaustion. Equals equals notes.